So I'm going to take some uh, questions from uh, self inquiry app. There is a question which is uh, very frequently asked. What is the most effective way to transcend the ego? And uh, I answered it that uh, the only way to transcend the ego is knowledge. There is no other way. You can have this knowledge by various means, by various paths, but uh, that is the only solution to this problem of identification with the ego. You can have the knowledge experientially by doing some practices or you can simply directly see it using a well-matured intellect that is the path of knowledge. But ultimately you come to this realization of uh, the illusion of the ego, the illusion of the identity or the small self, the separate self or the person. And when you see that there is no person, what remains is the whole. When you see that there is no individual, what remains is the universal. Now you will see the problem here that uh, knowing this is not a big deal. It can happen in two minutes. But uh, the identification will shift back to anything which is necessary for survival. And now such questions are going to arrive that uh, I know who I am but uh, I keep thinking of myself as this body or my memories or various spiritual entities like soul and some things, things like that. So my solution to that is very easy that you can become aware of this activity also. It is only an activity. It is not you. You are that which is aware of this activity. So bring the activity of identification under the light of awareness and now it is perfectly okay to be identified with anything because mother nature has made this arrangement for some specific purpose and that purpose is survival of the individual. If you see the existence, you will find that we never experience the existence as it is. It is emptiness. There is nothing to experience. What is there is infinite potential to be anything. That potential is being experienced as experiences, illusion, series of illusions and we call it experience. The experience is happening now and here. And you will also notice that there is no universal experience. The experience is always individual experience. At the level of universal, there is no individual and there is no experience. This is very strange. The experience is always subjective. There is nobody who can say that I am experiencing the whole. They will only say that I am experiencing a tiny bit, one thing at a time, in the form of a very limited individual. So what we are experiencing is actually universal, but it appears in the form of an individual. This is paradoxical. This cannot be comprehended logically. When I say that you are the existence, you are experiencing yourself in various forms. The current form is very limited and this is all okay. Everybody understands this much. But what they don't understand is, where is the universal in this? Why the existence is not experiencing itself as existence? Can anybody comment on this? <laughs> Why does it need to experience itself in the form of a limited individual? Why can't it simply go and experience everything at once? Are there any answers from participants here? Because I keep answering these questions, but uh, it is sometimes very interesting to know what people think about these things. Kiran is saying because the universal memory is not witnessable by individualized memory. That is perfectly Right, that is okay. The question here is that why can't the universal memory witness itself? Get rid of the individual memory completely. Now, everybody knows that uh, there is no such thing as individual memory. It is an appearance. The universal appears as the individual. There is no real individual. Like there is no real wave in the ocean. The ocean has assumed a tiny impermanent form of the wave. But why must it happen in this way? A still ocean is perfectly okay. Why is it not witnessing itself without doing this drama of individuality? Yes, <laughs> very nice. Benjamin is saying without the limitation there won't be any meaning. Yes, Vidya is saying experience is possible only through limitations. 
Yes, very good answers. There is no mistake in any of the answers. I am very happy that people have progressed to this level because this is a very difficult question in according to me. It is very easy to see that there is no individual. It is very difficult to see why it is so, why there has to be an individual. Uh detailed answer is that in this existence there are infinite possibilities and one of the possibility is of individualization let us not forget this it is possible to be an individual this is not excluded from the wholeness otherwise it won't remain whole there is universal yes but to complete itself there is individual also there is connectivity yes but to complete itself there must be separation also so it is manifesting all possibilities right now right here we are in one of the possibility which is of individuality it is all very beautiful it is all whole and complete without there being an individual and the experiences associated with the individual which are of a very special kind they are very solid and meaningful you will notice this the worlds that the individual finds itself in they are very stable it looks like there is a purpose here it looks looks like there is something going on which is meaningful the human life or the life of any creature there is a goal to it this is very satisfying experience now i won't say that it is completely meaningful or i won't say that it is it has a purpose nothing like this but it seems that there is because it is an illusion everything is okay here if i don't find a true meaning i don't usually fuss about it that oh there is no true meaning true meaning nothing is true in the illusion why are you searching for a true meaning in the illusion that's not logical but it is a good illusion yes like benjamin said <laughs> it's a perfect illusion i'll take you back to the metaphor of the movie if you watch a movie which has no story just random pictures pictures change so quickly like those music videos where there is no connection between what they are showing and the song all they want you to you know go through uh, 20000 pictures in 2 minutes somehow because the young generation cannot tolerate anything which is more than 5 seconds long so they need to make such videos Imagine if the movie is made like this no story at all no apparent purpose in the movie nothing purposeful meaningful happens who is going to watch that movie can you call it an intelligent movie can you call it a good experience and the answer is no our individual intellect at least is going to say that <laughs> it is meaningless it is a waste of time and if there is a story there if there is a meaning purpose and people are chasing something which is of value for them in in the movie the characters then these this is the entertaining movie this is a piece of art now it is worth watching it is not a complete waste of time the director and the producer and the story writer have done a good job here and you will find that in that movie there is everything all the duality is there somebody is good somebody is bad somebody is beautiful somebody is ugly there is happiness and there is sorrow and uh, sadness everything is there in india we call such movies as the masala movie because they put everything there or we also call it a formula movie because there is a formula that movie is always successful does not matter what is there so right now we are in one such masala movie where there is apparent conflict apparent resolution apparent struggle apparent suffering and totally fake happiness Maya is a perfect director. Maya is the best director in this universe because she is the only one. She has produced this movie. Because there is a possibility of making such a movie, it is there. There is no other reason. You can only say that it is necessary to express this possibility. Otherwise, the wholeness will not be wholeness. And there is a kind of experience that the individual provides to the universal, to the universe. or to the existence itself which is not possible when your aperture is too big like the camera aperture when it is too big everything fades into white you need to have some darkness you need to have some limitations you need to turn you need to narrow down the aperture so that only few things get in 
only a little bit of light gets in and then we get the illusion then the picture appears we close down even further and it starts disappearing again it is a perfect metaphor actually the camera open it too much it's gone it is universal close it down and it's gone because the darkness is also universal you can see the plants and the rocks and the trees their apertures are very narrow as you evolve as the individual evolves there is an optimal position where the aperture is not too big and not too small there are more combinations that are possible like a possibility is there to narrow down individual experience to smaller scales like we have right now it is a very narrow kind of experience and to expand it whenever it is needed that is one more possibility and i think we are growing towards that possibility we want to keep the individual because it's so useful it provides a very valuable purposeful experience apparently we also want to transcend the individual and then we can have this ability to widen our view a little i think we are progressing towards that possibility somehow i think it will never become the whole watching the whole it is watching itself it is kind of engaged in itself why these various possibilities it is being expressed like this and you will know very soon that there is a gradation there is a gradual widening of the aperture this is what we call as spiritual evolution so it is all perfect it is all beautiful you don't need to do anything why are you trying to transcend the ego what is wrong in ego what is wrong in the individual benjamin is saying uh, just because truth underlies and pervades all experience the movie can be taken as real yes what is real here can you tell me what is fake what is real because the only reality there is is the illusion why do we even divide it into real and fake why do we divide it into true and false there is no such thing in the existence existence is whole and complete the oneness has truth it has false it has the real it has the unreal existence never says that it is real or unreal it is human mind these concepts are an invention of the human mind remember what is real what is unreal is totally arbitrary and subjective you know that now you know the truth of the truth that it is it is also fake it is a part of the movie actually so when we transcend the individual we transcend the truth also because the truth is defined by the individual there is no such truth in the universe in the universal in the wholeness no truth there it's beyond true and false it is very interesting vidya is saying through various limited individuals varied experiences are experienced as one whole for example through dream characters dreamer is experiencing one whole dream yes very good yes it is a good metaphor that in while dreaming i the one divides into many and i take many forms in the dream and it is surprising that i take the forms of non living things also i become the house i become the roads i become the sky i become the earth i become the water and i become people and animals it is a one whole experience if in your dream you ask the other person what are you experiencing and they will say exactly the same thing that other people say in the waking state i am experiencing that which you are experiencing and why is that not surprising because the experiencer is the one they must experience that which i am experiencing otherwise there is no meaning otherwise how can you call it a meaningful dream if every character in your dream is simply experiencing something else they will experience what you are experiencing and remember this is one such dream right now the waking state is also a dream where the one is experiencing why many and you see that is why we are all experiencing the same thing so it it will happen like this i don't know of any other way it it will happen it includes all possibilities already now what else can be there what are you trying to transcend here remember the question was what is the effective way to transcend the ego uh, just realize there is no ego just realize there is no individual it is an appearance you don't need to do anything more than that 
why are you sitting in a cave trying to transcend the individual you are chanting the mantras to become the shiva you are that already just don't be the individual just don't be the ego it is as simple as that and the play can continue because now this ignorance is also washed off that i need not be an individual you are not an individual realize this and the play can continue the dream can continue there is no other way the existence is pure emptiness and it must do what it is doing right now it is all perfect already nothing needs to change and if the change happens it is also perfect it must change in only that way now realizing this you will be in absolute peace no chasing no seeking no running no practices no gurus no ashrams no mantras no bending the body no subtle worlds no entities no worship this is called freedom this is called liberation liberation while living as an individual it is so simple and it is so beautiful what a relief knowing that i don't need to do anything to be everything this is the direct path yes if you don't understand what i just said then it's kind of confusing yes once you realize your true nature nothing needs to be done it does it automatically the disidentification with the ego happens automatically and then the rest of the time is spent in some kind of purification of the intellect which tries to identify again and again it hates the movie then oh it is an illusion i just realized i am in the illusion can somebody please take me out of the illusion into some reality this madness is also over once you realize that there is no reality of any other kind this is as real as it is the unreal is the only reality you accept it that is your surrender you accept the individual after discarding it this is the paradox in the spirituality now the mountains are mountains the rivers are rivers and the individual is back in the market it is the individual no problem at all all the problem comes because of uh, the struggle to let go of the individual what are you letting go of if there is no individual how can you let it go all you need to do is let go of this belief that there is the individual what are you trying to transcend if there is no individual what are you trying to transcend if there is no ego if it is an illusion do you need to transcend it no simply know that it is an illusion accept and continue this is the simplest practice i am giving you <laughs> now some people will say no i go back and identify with all other things the body the mind the soul the spirit i start calling myself as the brahman how to get rid of this and i'll repeat the same thing which i said in the beginning that it is an activity see it as another activity you simply abide in your true nature and the activity will become problem if you try to kill it don't kill it simply observe this activity of identification it is totally fake the fake individual is trying to gain gain back its reality and it is which is perfectly okay this is the tendency of mother nature actually so do not fight the maya as i usually say become a friend of the maya that she is trying to take you back and you say no you need to say it very nicely otherwise she will become angry that is the struggle of a spiritual seeker you need to refuse po- very politely <laughs> and you let this puppet do whatever it does if it wants to identify with the body you see fulfill its desires if it is done in pure awareness if it is done in complete awareness no problem at all you are already transcendent where are you transcending you are already the ultimate where are you going what are you trying to become when you are the ultimate And that is why i said knowledge is the only way and knowledge is very simple actually i am not giving you the biggest techniques in the universe the most complicated hat yoga techniques no <laughs> i am giving you two words that's all truth is like this two or three words remember the transcending and uh, liberation and uh, evolution is a part of the movie if you think that oh, finally i am out of the illusion now i have i become a spiritual seeker and i am seeking and i have a super guru here who knows everything now i'll be out of the illusion in no time well this is just another delusion it is all happening in the movie it is a part of the movie all you need to do is discard it just watch it 
and it settles down with the saying the essence and result of this knowledge is that it frees one from doing yes i am not saying do nothing i am saying do everything in complete awareness that will be seen as non doing is it possible to do nothing no it is possible to erase the doing by being in complete awareness